Hello guys, welcome back Hello there. to the Christmas gift guides. I'm joined by Mike, as per usual, a bearded Mike. Well, Do you so want to explain this, what's going on? So basically, I challenged my guys that I work with that I wanted to grow a beard for um, November and as an it's internal It's like November, charity, but, a full... but a full beard. But so any form of facial hair, so it kind of ties in November a bit, but basically our new internal charity is mined as a charity for all the guys that work for us. So I decided, you know what? Let's grow a beard, see if we can challenge and it. And this is what, a week in? It's going to yeah. be bad by the end of the month, guys. I'm I glad we're filming this. I tell you right beginning. now, it's horrific. I hate <laughs> having a beard. I quite like it once it gets past the stubbly stage. It's, it's, like, it's soft. So, it's not soft. It's so itchy and irritating. <laughs> I can't tell you how much. But, you know, right. we're here. Christmas. Christmas gift, guys. Christmas. Okay, so today we're talking all about Christmas gifts for the men in your life. For men. As per usual, we've got five from Mike and five from me. Although, I have to say, your involvement has been slightly less this I year because you've been really busy at work. Um, so let's hope Mike actually likes all of the presents. To be fair. You have had input into of, all of them. Four of them are things that I definitely use. Okay, I'm going to start first because I got more. It, I use I something slightly it. different. You've got more, have you? No, I've actually got less. I'm going to do two and one, so you start. I've got I'll more on the, on the oh, stocking where to go? I'm going to go low end first. So, when it comes to having a lovely bottle of white wine, or... Rosé. Rosé. Let's face it, in our house it, it's always in rosé. It's always rosé, rosé. So, um, what better than having this little badger, which is basically you freeze it, and it's got uh, a little hole in the top and a cork, and so you can pour it, so you can keep it uh, whilst so on a bus all day. So it and keeps it cold. Yeah, it's really cool little gadget. Uh, the, the one bit of advice I would do, don't put it in straight away, because obviously if the wine's up to here and you put something in with this much a mass it will Good just thinking, overflow. Good thinking Batman. As I've experienced that because I'm a buffoon but it's super cool and <laughs> you I... actually did that. Yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, but you only, you only learn by your mistakes but yeah so really really cool present. You got one of these in the summer didn't you and you yeah, used I, it all summer. I mean it's I in our it. fridge, constant, freezer, fridge, freezer constantly and it's something that just I... Just to clarify it's in the freezer. Yeah definitely in the freezer. It's something I would really recommend Highly great gift. There you go, MDF. Jeez. My first one, I'm gonna go with the. Can you hold my coffee? Actually, I've got a, I've got a table over here. It's got a this table. is the problem with having coffees when you're filming. Definitely so my first fun. gifts are um, grooming, skincare gifts, and I've actually got two favourites this year, and both are by Elemis. I really, really rate Elemis skincare, and they do a really good selection of men's as well. The first one is this dynamic duo set, and I like this because. Not only is it super, yeah, not cuts. super expensive, but it's also only got two products in it. And I feel like a lot of guys, you get given, you've you been in this situation before, so where you get given skincare products and there's like a whole bag of them and you don't know what to do with them. Certain guys would use all of them. Yeah. A lot of guys, probably most guys would not. Yeah. What I like about this is you get two products and they're both full size and they're both things that you would use. There's a face wash and then there's a hair and body wash. I feel like... Pretty solid. Pretty solid, yeah. solid gift, right? Nice gift box. Lovely gift box. Recyclable, yeah, love it. Um, the other thing is for the more high maintenance chap in your life, translation, Sam. Does anyone remember the gift guide I did with Sam 10 years ago? My first ever Christmas gift guide? Sam would use all of these products. I mean, he'd use that and more. Yeah, he probably would. Um, but yeah, basically, this comes with a little travel bag as well, which a lot of the time with these kind of gifts, the travel bag that you get is really rubbish. This is actually really nice, and it's a good size, small, compact, good like weekend away. And then inside you get moisturiser. Solid. Solid. Face wash. I mean, always required. Always required. Shave gel. Shave gel, interesting. And your hair and body wash. So it's actually not like too extra, but you get more products. Smaller sizes, but yeah, definitely for the more high maintenance man in your life. They're my two like grooming gifts this year. Strong. What I think have you got next? Good. Well, I've got next. So again, probably I'm starting with the lower end and then building towards the end. Um, building. But next, I need to put the key on my coffee. Oh, do your Because I don't have a table. Oh, um, yours is hotter than mine. Yes, because I've got skill. So this is the coolest what? So my brother-in-law, Dan, um, showed me this. And as soon as he showed it me, I was like, I want one. I need one in you my You can't keep this life. one, by the way. We're giving it away. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can't keep the trainers either. Well, actually, it depends on what size they want. Maybe you will. I don't know. Anyway, carry on. Sorry, there's not traders. Is... What? I'm spoiling it. <sighs> carry <But> on. <laughs> this is a wallet. Surprise, surprise. It's called The Rich. The, the Rich. Rich Wallet. So, it's got a little money clip on the back. 
there, if you can see that. And then it also fits your cards in the middle, which is super cool. But what is the most cool thing about this? I'm saying cool a lot today. Yeah, um, Mike says cool and awesome a lot in the awesome. Guys. It's awesome. Awesome. Um, but what's amazing about this is the fact that it actually is a anti stealing device. Yeah, so basically so they the contactless, they contact list, contact they can't list. use contactless, so no one can come up behind you and go on your back pocket with their phone and nick all your money. I don't know how much that actually happens, apparently a lot, but yeah, I don't, think I don't so. know. I mean, it's never happened to me, so you know. Uh, no, the other thing is with this, it's super, super slim, and when you have many cards in it, apparently there's like a real trick. Dan, our brother-in-law, is device. like obsessed with it. Yeah. Apparently there's a real trick to like, when you've got a few cards in here, it's like, and it, they all come up, yeah. but I haven't worked it it's out It's because it's very tight and it's only just uh, like the, well, it's the only last got thing one in one it. card in. The only thing is for me, I do like, I really do like a traditional wallet, so me personally, I don't know how much this I'd This is for like the gadget it, guys. But I think it's gadget guys, I think it's really, it, as far as a slick cool wallet that's completely different than what everyone else has on the street, you know, you can be really hip and cool the and down street. with the kids. On the street. Mike is so down with the kids. I'm gonna be um, such an embarrassing dad. <laughs> I can't wait for her to watch this back in about 10 years. I'm like, Dad! It's so embarrassing! So, you can have your coffee, and what I'm gonna talk about next oh, is God. fragrance. I'm sticking to what I know best, guys. I've got two fragrances this year. Um, one of them is a gift set. This is on the more affordable end of things, because this is... That'll be River. That's River girls. crying downstairs. My mom's here looking after her. She can hear us probably, that's the problem. Um, so I really, really rate All Saints fragrances and for Christmas this year, I mentioned this in the girls gift guide as well, but the travel size ones. For Christmas this year, they've done the full size in a gift set with the 15 that mil a travel size. size. It's 50 mil, no, it's 100 mil. Um, it's 49 pounds, so it's the same price as just buying the regular size perfume on its own, but then you also get the travel size as well as extra. I mean, let's face um, it, whenever this you go to is All Metal Saints, Wave, which is actually a fragrance, good. does it? All Saints always smells good. Oh, as in the shop smells good. Yeah. You smell this, take this out of here and you smell it, because that one I actually wear. So um, all of their fragrances are unisex. Um, so I actually wear that one. Is that too girly for you, or do you like that? Uh. I think it's really nice, it's unisex. A girly, you but, think it's too girly? But I think it's a nice... I think a lot of guys it's, wear it's, it too, it's, though. It's a nice, it's a nice mm. sweet smell. Okay, and then the other fragrance, this is another one that has a slightly girly element to it because the box is the box and the bottle are quite girly, but I really love this. This is a new Valentino one. How cool it's is the bottle? It's pretty aggressive. I know, it's like a rock stud, but I really like no, this no, smell. Don't you spray me. No, no, ah! Oh. Mike gets really offended if I spray him with things. How nice is that? Yeah, that's a nice smell. <laughs> Mike approved. Mike DeForce MDF. approved, guys. It's the Valentino Wormo? Yeah. The Ooh. new one with the with the pink. That's why I feel like it it confused me because I saw this bottle and I was like, is that guys? Is that girls? But it's guys, but it smells really, really great. That's so awesome. that's my other recommendation. They do also do this in a gift set. Um, I think Boots have it. I actually didn't get hold of it because I didn't manage to get one in Boots, but they do have one with, um, I think it's got shave gel with it for the same price as the full size. So that's slightly more expensive at 52, but they're my two fragrance picks for 2019. Strong game. Right, so as you can see, my next uh, little Sorry. trick uh, is a set of running shoes. Now, as you all know, I love running shoes. It's a trick, is it? Yeah, a little trick, you know. <laughs> Magic. Hello, Squidge. Next gift. Um, my next gift. Oh, Squidgy. <laughs> yes, hello. You every, want to be part of it? Pretty much every year every this year. happens when Mike's yeah, in this video. Like, hey, I'm here. Okay. Um, so, realistically, with, um, you know, with running shoes, they're not always the most environmentally friendly things. And, they're basically um, made of plastic. Yeah, pretty much. And so, Flo introduced me to Vega, which is a really cool brand. Now, obviously, I haven't worn these, so I don't know what they've run like yet. But it's super They've cool. only just launched running shoes as well. Like most of you will probably have heard of Veja because they're super trendy, like sustainable trainers that have become a massive thing in the last couple of years. But they've literally just launched, I think they're called Condor, um, the running shoes. Apparently they have four years of, four, well they were four years in development. So they mm. should be pretty good. They actually I mean, look really well made. Yeah, they do. I really good. I mean, for like for the kind of running I do, like long distance, really good solid heel in the back of them, plenty of support, which looks super cool. And I have worn them, so I have literally put them on my foot just to see what they feel like. Uh, they fit really accurately, I think. And also it feels like quite, it's not too soft, but soft enough. 
Um, yeah. So really good long distance running shoe. Um, they come in many different colours, but as Fleur always knows, I like bright colours. Mike colors. picks the rankest colour. Okay, I mean, they do black and white. If anyone's looking for a yeah, more black and white subtle boring. running shoe. Who wants to be subtle when you're they running? They do black and white. Let's face it, like if you're running on the road, then you want to be seen. And in these, yeah, but you can you wear neon clothes. You have to wear like Give hideous Give any trainers. little bit. Safety first. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, good option. If, if you're buying for somebody who is really into fitness and interested in trying to be more sustainable possibly a good option and only 130 pounds which is cheaper than quite a lot of like nikes and adidas so yeah good value. i think it's still quite a lot for running shoe for trainers in general for but trainers, if yeah, you're but really into running, running shoe, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's good value. um my next one is quite big hang on a minute <sighs> this on, was man. actually a present we got for christmas last year i think i put it in my did i put this in my christmas one i got for christmas i, I can't remember either way it is a wooden um height chart and you know how normally when you have kids and blah blah, blah they start growing you a lot of people do not like everybody but a lot of people will chart their height and their growth on the wall mm. this is a really nice idea because this is a wooden version it's a solid oak version it's personalized so you can get it engraved ours has our family name this is ours we actually got for christmas last year um from our friend libby but basically it means that if you move house or you want to redecorate you can move it i've so, literally taken this off our wall although mike the, the is, thing is massively offended no, by this because basically i put it up that much short and i'm literally we've actually measured and i am six foot but they have literally no you've got to you be know there, why you didn't board. mike because it says i'm five foot three and a half and i'm five foot three yeah, but that's half. not three and a half that's I think three and a quarter you've shrunk in your old age I've not well i've lost a centimeter off my right leg so you know yeah, you yeah. have. Oh, right, so that's my like big, big boy gift recommendation. It's pretty cool having a giant ruler on your wall. I think it's really cool for someone who's got a family and you don't know what to buy them. It's one of those things. It's like it's actually really nice and thoughtful and a nice pretty family stuff. gift. Such a good family gift. No, my next gift. No, is, no, my. no, my no, my. It's a uh, tech gift again. Um, now I actually own a set of the original ones of these and. These ones. Look As does like everybody, cooler. a lot of people yeah. have got AirPods, so, but they've just launched a new. New AirPods, which are out, which are super cool. I haven't actually even looked at this these yet. This actually tempts me to get AirPods because before I actually don't like the night, the way that Apple headphones fit in my ear. Like I find them really uncomfortable with my piercings and stuff. Oh, possibly with piercings. But these ones have got the squishy bit. Squishy bit. So they're also, they're noise cancelling, which is super cool for such a small little mini And the stick's and shorter. Yeah, everything's shorter and they just slot in your ear. Does that mean you're keeping so. them if you're putting them in your stinky ears? Yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, they're much more compact. Much more compact. You know how I know that they're much wow, more compact? Wow, and I can't actually hear you guys speak right now. Can you not? You guys. Sorry. They're not speaking to you, they're are they? It's right a camera. Now. I can't hear them. I'm speaking. Yeah, but I can't hear them. They're shouting at you. You're a buffoon. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you can hear me, can't you? Yeah. Um, you know um, how I know that they are right much there, different in the shape <laughs> than the old ones? It's because I've got some old ones here. Uh -huh. This is my final gift recommendation for guys. Um, I've actually done this for me, so it's quite a girly version, but obviously you can get it less girly in, in terms of the colour. And these are my earpods that I've put in them. But this is a personalised case for earpods, which I think is a really cute idea. Well, you got idea. it with your it initials helps. on it, I so did. I can't have them anymore. So you basically you've stolen my no, but AirPods, that, so I you know, can have these, yes? Okay, you know what happened. I bought these intending to give for this gift guide, I was intending to keep them afterwards. Mm. And I ordered this, intending to put them on there. Little did I know, the shape of the case has changed. Amateur. Just so you know, guys. I mean, I knew that. But yeah. if, if we link this, it will be for the old AirPod case. They must surely so be these... coming up with a new AirPod case soon. They will, I'm sure they will be, but yeah. these literally just launched like last week. Um, anyway, so <laughs> personalised, clear... Um, I'll do a close up, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, personalised clear AirPod case, you get them with your initials, your name, whatever you want. I got my initials and you know why I like these as well because they have the little attachment so you can put it on a string. I find something like this small, I would lose. You know how See, actually, I'm so I find bad it, like, at losing fits in, things. It fits in your pocket really well. Yeah, I mean, so it's for really boys discreet. I feel they like. They are really slick, I think. Yeah. I, I was, I've been really impressed with them as a... And the uh, self-charging case. But it's also just protects them a little bit. Personalised, cute little gift. If you've got someone that's got AirPods and you know that they love them, cool. um, I think that's quite a nice gift. And now, it's from The Art of Gifting. How nice is their little bag? I really like that. Such an art of gift. So Mike's going way out there with the next one, by the way. Just saying. This I, is, so this is, this is a bit niche. High so this, Yeah, this is high rolling. So, <laughs> A, this is incredibly expensive, I know. But if you've got someone that's either A, incredibly, any form of fitness is like incredibly into it, it's football, running, 
snooker, you know, anything. But if you snooker. struggle... <laughs> if, snooker is not a sport. It's a game. It's definitely a sport. It's a game. But I'm not going to get into this argument right now. I but, think it's a sport is a game. It's definitely a sport. It's got a governing body. Um, but the Theragun, which is not just a random suitcase. Um, I can't wait for people got, to see man, this because it looks so, so funny. Dodgy. Um, this you know they do a light version of this so it's not they, so expensive. Uh, yeah, they've only just brought that out. When I have I, they? Yeah, so when I brought this... It's like this, half the price. Yeah, so this I bought last year when I was uh, running for London and... Running for London or running, running London? Running, training for the London Marathon that's is it. what he means. That's that's what I'm trying to get to. But this was an absolute lifesaver. So... Oh, ah! Thank you. It looks like um, a drill, basically. So it looks like a drill. Um, basically Slash what this a very does, odd sex toy. Yeah, it's very, not. very concerning. It's actually amazing. This is amazing. So basically, what happens with this is if you've got a really tight muscle, or you've got legs, or you've got knots, it can help kind of ease that out. It's never going to completely remove like a sports massage, but it, it can tide you over and get you going. And when I found was all my legs are really tired and fatigued, going over my legs, if I had like pains in certain areas, this really, really helped. No, it did not break my hip for hammering into my hip with it. <laughs> that is not what happened. No, you did that. Running. I did that because I yeah. kept running when my hip hurt and I'm a <laughs> buffoon again. But I generally, you get loads of little different heads with it so you can get more pointy ones, so you can get really into the tight kind of like nut, nuts or you can, yes, yeah, squidgy, oh. Um, you can also have this on, which obviously is for large areas. For my IT band, which is something that I really struggle with and my calves, which are really bad, this generally got me through and had I not had a bad hip, I'd have completed a marathon in a super quick time. Yeah, okay. A lot of detail happen. into but Mike's. But it generally, into Mike's yes. So this is there. these are incredibly expensive. I know. Um, it's a sports massage tool. Yes. In case you didn't understand, or <laughs> Mike just starts waffling about his I legs. I'm excited. It's, you know. Um, this is really expensive. It's what five hundred pounds. Yeah. But they have just launched a light version, which mm. is two hundred and something. Yeah. So if you know somebody that is super into their fitness and sport and has everything. Mm, it's good but what I would say is even though they are really expensive, this is something that lasts years and years and years. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're quiet. What they're I not, found not like a... interesting was it was developed by a guy who had a really bad motorbike accident yeah. during his recovery, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's specifically designed to help with rehab as yeah. well. So and it kinda like the little injury. head moves into different oh, positions. Oh, I didn't know that. So you can, you want to get to a certain position. Or if someone else is doing, doing it. You can get, so it is, they're literally, they are a really good yeah, thing. I've used this as well when I've had tight muscles after and running and it's, and I think it's so it's good. Amazing. It's like you've got knots in your shoulders or around here where I struggle with them because of driving so much. They generally Never thought really I'd be good. recommending a massage tool in my gift guides, but there we go yeah, guys. There we go. Niche. That is it. That's what happens for, when you get me involved. That's it for the what to buy him for Christmas. Mm. Make sure you come back for the stocking filler gift guide, which we're actually going to film now. Um, and so make sure fillers. you also head over to my Instagram because we are doing, I am doing, really, Mike's not involved. Mike doesn't even know what's going on. I have no idea, but we're doing something. <laughs> I'm like, we're doing this. No, 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 Mike, like, seriously, the involvement this year, Mike, I'm expecting you next year to pull your socks up and get more involved with this Christmas gift guide stuff, yeah? Well, when do you expect me to do that? Um, so, uh, what was I saying? On my Instagram, I'm giving away massive prizes every other day, all the way up till the end of the month. Not and the airports so the far, the airports aren't going, but the trainers are. A no, lot of the other stuff mind, is. They're um, my trainers. They're mine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we get, we've given away. What have we given away so far? A trip to Lapland. That's pretty silly. What, what didn't I know about? I what didn't know, know about that? Lapland. <laughs> Trips Jeez. to Lapland. We've got like massive bundles of stuff. Lots of vouchers going to do your Christmas shopping as well for places like Space NK, Monica Vinada, Elemis, mm. Aspinall. Spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, head over to my Instagram for goodies. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.